the secret ingredient, Fryolite, the only one cow spray. <laughs> what do you reckon to my advertising voice? I think I'll make it as a voiceover artist. Perhaps that's an alternative career for me. Who knows? This is what that stuff looks like. I've got it on uh, number five. This is what the stuff looks like before it's um, it goes clear eventually, but it's like a milky colour. It's not like um, cooking oil, which is like clear. And it doesn't spit as well. I mean, when you cook bacon with it, it's delicious. I mean, if you've never tried it, I highly recommend it. It's made by, just a minute, the name of it is Fry Light. That's, that's, um, that's all I know. It must be just a brand name, I suppose. It doesn't say it's made by any particular company. It just says Fry Light. So just remember that name if you want to have a go at using it. I've cooked bacon with it and eggs, and they've been absolutely delicious. And omelettes are lovely. I'm just thinking, you know, as I was going to get some... Um, Mushrooms, I'll break them up into fine pieces because that way, and just sprinkle them sporadically at intervals so you've got a nice even spread of mushrooms instead of them being all in one place. <clears throat> yeah, pra perhaps I ought to um, become a food vlogger. What do you reckon? Chef Mark Corner, square ring to it, isn't it? If Gordon Ramsay can do it, why can't I? How do you get away with all that swearing? On TV, that's what I want to know. But he does, doesn't he? And he gets paid lots of money for it. I know, I'm going to change my career. And become a chef instead. <laughs> I wonder how long it's taken me to reach the top. Mm, probably a long time. Mm. Sometimes I like to eat the mushrooms as well. Just ah. uh, finish putting these last few in. Mmm. This is going to be delicious. I'm, anything with this stuff is, you have to cook it at a lower heat. So it just take longer. All these a couple of years ago. Here's them. They put, you put plants in them. Well, at the moment, they've all got these cobwebs and um, dried leaves. Quite novel, aren't they? Look at the front. You can probably see there's a bird there, and it's chicks in the boot. Love mushrooms. Oh, there's up there. Oh, that looks so pretty. A load of birds just flying around in a circle. There must be, um, it's so hot up in the sky as well. Oh, that's amazing. Probably can't see it. I'll try zooming in and see if you can see. No, they're probably too far away. They must be um, floating on the hot air. I think they're swifts, actually. I'm sure that's what they're called. Probably can hear them making a bit of a noise. Isn't it amazing, the birds, the things they can do. They can fly so high. I mean, I don't know how high, how, how high in the sky they are, but to me they look like dots. Uh, this is one of my favourite times of the morning, actually. Just first thing. Oh, it's so peaceful. It really is. Look at our rose. Our rose is coming on. Great. Put some other ones in, but they're not doing so well. Well, that one is. Blooming quite well, oh, look. Uh, it's got a lovely, um, beautiful head on it. Look at that. Uh, uh, and that one. Pretty flowers, frozen, aren't they? I mean, they do like them. Oh, it's a chef's life for me. Da -da 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 -da. Not really a song, is it? But I thought we'd give it a go. Not the best singer in the world, folks. <laughs> 
I don't think that's an alternative career for me, singing somehow. No, not really. Uh, whew, I don't know whether you can see that. That's the sun coming in. Ooh. It's going to be a hot one again. Most surely is. No explanation there, is there? <laughs> Heat wave will last all summer. Just reading the paper now. Ah! Oh well. What can you do? Can't turn it down. It's not like it's all hurt. Heating. Let's see what my horoscope is. I normally read these most days because I just like to see what it says. It says, while you are directing your efforts on career advancements, keep your feet on the ground. You need the resources to back up your plans and finances are your biggest challenge. Creative thinking is required. Call me to hear when to go to that new job. Well, that sounds about right. Do you read your horoscopes? This one's by Laurie Reed in the Daily Express. Look at this. Do you know what it is yet? Oh, I'll tell you something. Oh, look at that. It's made a beautiful... That frying pan makes beautiful omelettes. A bit warm, but I'm going to eat it. <laughs> this is one of my favourite things. It's a bit warm at the moment. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it. But when I used to make uh, omelettes in the other frying pan, they, um... Yeah, they were a bit thinner. And they weren't so... I don't know whether it's because of an old frying pan or it's just bigger. Maybe because the heat doesn't distribute by it, but... There's four eggs in this, and it's just made such a. It's, it looks too good to eat. It's made like a like a flapjack out of it. It's really really nice, and it's. Oh, I see underneath it, it's not burnt or anything. Yeah, I think a career change is on the on the card, folks. I'm going to become a chef, Chef Mark Corner. I'm going to set up a food YouTube channel. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Apparently. One of the reasons for eating protein in the morning is it sets your body and mind up for um, eating less throughout the day. So the theory goes. I mean, that's what studies have said. So, um, yeah. I don't always eat omelettes every day. Um, it's just it's today I just felt like having one. And they are very filling as well. That's the thing about them. And calorie, uh, sorry, eggs are very low in calories. And the uh, mushrooms aren't as well. But, I mean, this has made a really, really good omelette. Mm, I think I'll have to try different ones, you know. Might get some peppers, uh, green peppers, green and red peppers, bell peppers, and um, onions and chicken, and just try different ones. I mean, it gets a bit boring when you do the same things all the time, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, nonetheless, love it. Mmm, lovely. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. From the great man himself, Mahatma Gandhi. Have you ever seen Gandhi? If you haven't, it's a it's a really good film. Long film, three hours, but well worth watching. I'm just doing my morning routine for my Facebook page, which is called Social Sparks. And I'm just um, in the process of adding an image to be scheduled to go out later on this day. So that's what I'm in the middle of doing now. So I'll just sort of show you that. Quite a good coat, that is. Just read it to you again. Happiness is when what you think, what you say and what you do in, are in harmony. Yeah. Good way to start the day, what do you reckon? I like inspirational quotes. A lot of people don't like them, but um, I do. Ah. There's a lot of um, deep thought in them, and that's why I like them. I don't think people often, um, you know, they don't, they don't sort of, think about what's being said sometimes well that's what i think anyway i mean everybody just some people might just think they're irrelevant or they don't change your life but if you're in a bad place and you can look at something like that it can sometimes change the way you feel and you think which is a good thing i just had some post come this morning and my new life purpose cards have come so i'm going to um have a look at them and see what they say. I love these types of cards. I've got about four types now. I've got them in this drawer here. I've got a tarot deck, which I use every so often. These are soul cards that I've got. And my angel cards. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to bother getting any more, actually. 
Yeah, I've been looking forward to getting these, so uh, I'm going to open them and uh, have a look at them and see what they say about my life purpose. Just in the middle of, uh, well not in the middle, but just started writing a new uh, piece of content for my site, because I'm a bit behind in that aspect. And now, it's lunchtime, so I'm going to get something to eat. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I wonder what's on the menu today.